With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The given question is, a point charge Q is within an electrically neutral conducting shell whose outer surface is a sphere of radius R. The center of the outer surface is at O. Consider a point P outside the conductor as shown in the figure. The magnitude of electric field at P will be given as, now see we are given four options here and we are given a neutral conducting shell okay, like this and a point P where we have to find the magnitude of electric field. Now we are having a charge Q here, right, placed at a distance of R dash from point P and the center of the sphere is at O. Now this charge is plus Q. Okay, now see, as this charge is plus Q, so in the vicinity, a minus charge will accommodate, right, like this, on this void. Okay, so this will be minus Q. And again, due to the induction effect, as it is a neutral shell and it is conducting, hence a, the, on the surface of the shell, a positive Q charge will be, will appear or will get induced, we can say, right. So this will be plus Q charge. Now, see in the option a we are having that due to charge induced on inner surface of the conductor is zero okay so let me mark the options first option a b c and d okay now we know that due to the shielding effect or the principle of electrostatic shielding the magnet the electric field at point p due to this negative uh, charge okay due to this negative induced charge or the induced charges and this positive Q charge will be zero. Okay, so now if I find the electric field at point P due to this plus Q charge, so it will be equal to KQ divided by R square, right? Plus we have now the electric field at point P due to this induced charges will be equal to, let's say E and the sum of this will be zero. And this is the principle of electrostatic shielding or we can say the shielding effect. Okay, shielding effect. So from here we can find that the electric field due to the induced charges on the inner surface and this will be equal to minus kq divided by r square. So we have some finite value but in option a it is given to be equal to zero. Hence the option a is wrong. Option b we have is due to the charge induced on inner surface of the conductor is kq by r dash whole square. Okay, I am sorry this will be r dash square. Okay, This will be r dash because this distance is r dash here. Okay, now see, due to the charge induced on the inner surface of the conductor is kq by r dash square. Okay, now see, if we talk about the magnitude, this part given is right only as we have already proved here. So, option B is correct. Option C, we have to, uh, uh, in option C we have, due to charge induced on outer surface of the conductor is kq by r square. Okay, now see, we have a positive q charge that is induced on the outer surface of the shell now it will be acting uh, acting as a simple shell on which this q charge is distributed uniformly so we know that due to the due to a shell electric field at any point p will be given as kq divided by the distance that is from the center that is r square okay so electric field due to this positive charge okay positive induced charge due on the outer surface is equal to kq by r square hence option c is also Correct one. In option D, we are having that the that due to charge induced on surface of the conductor is KQ by R square. Okay, see here we have two surfaces. One is this void and one is the outer surface of the shell. So we are having two surfaces, but here it is talking about just the outer surface. Okay, KQ by R square. But we are having two surfaces. Thus, option D is also incorrect. Hence, from the given options or statements, option B and C are the Correct one. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.